This video is for the blog project assignment two: create your first topic post with a citation. Please make sure that the person who did the directions yesterday is not doing the directions today. Um, so whoever did the directions last class should not be doing these directions today. Anyway, what you're going to do is go to drive.google.com and you're going to search for your finding reliable websites document um, and then click on it when it appears and it should have your name on it. Um, so then what you're going to do next is you're going to scroll down and click on the link underneath website one. Um, and then it's gonna appear with a smaller link underneath it. Click on that blue link and it's gonna bring you to your website that you're going to be using for your research. So what you wanna do is you want to have, um, get information from your website. So you can literally copy and paste a sentence as long as you are giving credit. Um, so for example, um, we can take this sentence and we're gonna give credit to Karen Gilchrist, the author. Um, so what we're gonna do is go back over to the Google Drive tab and you should open up the document where you did your about us post um, and again if it's in the template that's fine or if it's in a blank document that's fine but um, what you're going to do is you're going to do something similar to this where you tell um, kind of give it a title um, why Instagram is the worst app for depression and then you're going to say um, you know kind of tell what the topic is in the first sentence and then include a quote and put the author's name the year it was written in parentheses and then put the quote in quotation marks and then underneath it tell what you think about um, you know basically the quote the main idea of the article um, give your own opinion on it so then when you've done that what you're going to do is you're going to click and drag to highlight it and then hit control C on your keyboard so again use this as a guide but don't copy it exactly so then what you're going to do next is you're going to open up a new tab and click on mail and then we are going to go into your spam folder so that you can get the email from Weebly um, that your partner sent you um, so that you can edit the blog. So click on where it says more um, in your email. And then from here, you're going to click on spam. And you're going to see an email from Weebly. You're going to click on that email from Weebly. And it's going to give you two blue blog, um, blue links. It doesn't really matter which one of the blue links you click on, but you click on the blue link. And then you're going to click on where it says log in with Google. And so what that's going to do is it's going to bring you to the blog that your partner started last class. So this is why we're making sure that we switch jobs from last class. That way both you and your partner can now get on the blog. So next what you're gonna do is if you see a drafts button down in the bottom right corner, you're gonna click on that drafts button and then click on the draft that appears. Make sure that it's complete first um, and then click on post. And if it doesn't appear with the draft button, don't worry about that part and just hit close. So next what you're going to do is you're gonna add a new post. So click on the new post button in the bottom right corner and then scroll down a little bit and you're gonna click where it says post title and then just type in kind of the main idea. Um, so why Instagram is bad for depression, for example. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to copy and paste or just paste the information that you already copied. So you're gonna click and drag um, a text box to go in the white space underneath where you just typed in the title. Click where it says click here to edit and then hit control V on your keyboard. And so what that's going to do is it's going to paste the information that you already typed in the document. So then from here, what you're going to do is we're not gonna post it yet because we still need to give credit to the website we got our information from. So we should still have that website open. So you're just gonna click on that tab and then click to highlight the URL and hit control C on your keyboard open up a new tab and then you're going to go to easybib.com and from here what you're going to do is paste the URL of the website into easybib. It's just taking a moment to load so um, anyway now we're going to hit control V on our keyboard and then click on cite it. Okay, then we're going to click on the Cite This button. 
and scroll down a little bit, click on continue to the final step. Okay, and it should fill in all the information for you. Um, and then just simply click on the create citation button. You'll have to scroll down a little bit to see the create citation button. And then from here, what you're going to do is scroll down a little bit and you're gonna copy the information. Just click and drag to highlight the information under hooray, here's your new citation. And then hit control C on your keyboard to copy it. You're gonna click back over to Weebly and then click after your last sentence, hit enter a couple of times, and then you're gonna type in works cited and then hit enter on your keyboard and then hit control V on your keyboard um, in order to paste the citation that you just created. Um, so then what you're going to do is we're going to add a, um, a post category. So we're gonna click on where it says post options in the bottom left corner. Click on where it says add category. Since this post is about Instagram, you're just gonna type Instagram. Um, basically your categories should be pretty short. Um, and then what you're going to do is click on the new category when it appears. Um, and then click on the post button. Click on close. Um, and then what you're going to do is add in a category for the about us post. So you're going to click on about us and then you're going to see that post options button appear in the bottom left corner again. You're going to click on that and then click on where it says add categories and you can just type in something like about us and then click on new category about us. Click on update in the top right corner and then click on close. Then the last thing we're going to do is publish our blog even though we are still going to be adding more to it. So you click on publish up at the top and then it should be published. And then the last thing you would do is just simply um, X out of that window. And that's it.